And this year's winner of the CHL Top Draft, Draft Prospect Award presented by Kubota Canada is Shane Wright, Kingston Frontenacs. Shane, you know, you've had some time now since the end of your season to kind of reflect back, you know, who helped you get, you know, this successful season and draft eligible year for you? I just got to thank my teammates, thank my coaches. I think that, um, you know, everything they, they've done for me, I think always being there, always supporting me, um, also pushing me. You know, my coaches and my teammates will always push me to, to be the best I can be and always push me to, to, you know, be the best player I possibly can be. And, um, you know, super thankful for, for all, you know, the, the experience I've had with them and, um, you know, growing, growing bonds, growing relationships, relationships with all of them as well. So um, definitely say, you know, they've contributed a lot to my success this year for sure. Now you've got some time to kind of focus on the NHL drafts. It's been the back of your mind all year. It's starting to creep to the front of it. You know, are you excited? How are you feeling about heading into it finally? I'm just excited. I think I'm just looking forward to it. I think that um, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's something that as a KD dream of coming coming true. And um, you know, I'm just looking forward to soaking every second of it. I think that that's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is just enjoying the experience of the draft, enjoying the experience of you know actually being able to get it. You know, having a draft in person. You know, lucky enough um, after you know two years with with it being virtual. So um, I think that's what you know I'm looking forward to the most for sure. How does it mean to be recognized on the national stage from the CHL with an award like this? Yeah, it's a huge distinction. It's a huge honor for me. I think that um, you know I'm pr I'm proud to you know be be recognized by by my peers and uh, by the CHL as, as that top top draft prospect. Someone that you know I've I've worked for and earned you know uh, throughout my entire career. So um, something I'm super thankful for and super uh, you know proud to, to achieve for sure. How big the right is the right contingent going to be at the draft? Who are you bringing with you? <laughs> yeah, a good amount of family and friends are, are are making the way up to Montreal. I think that um, anytime you can. Yeah, you know, have the, the people closest to you, the people that you love around you for, you know, the big moments in your life. It's something that um, is truly special and I'm um, looking forward to, you know, spending that day and, and, and those moments with them for sure. Since the draft lottery, it's been crazy in Montreal, the, the debates, uh, who they should pick, just how have you been dealing with the noise, uh, all of that? If at all, are you aware of everything that's been going on a little bit? I think a little bit, yeah. I think, uh, you know, it's, it's not really something you can ignore easily, something that um, is definitely, uh, you know, with, with the draft being forefront in my mind now that the season's over, I think that's something that I'm aware of. But, um, you know, it, it's kind of just noise right now. It's not really something I can control. I can't control uh, what people are saying or uh, rankings or, or whatever uh, that kind of stuff looks like. I think that um, I just got to, you know, do what I can to ensure that, um, you know, I, I'm in the best position possible uh, for the draft and, um, and just try to enjoy every second of it. Like I said, I think that, um, as much as there is, there's a lot of pressure and a lot of talk going around, I think that um, I really just want to enjoy every, you know, enjoy the draft and, and the experience that goes along with it. Have you been preparing at all? Athletes go through sometimes mental preparation for a game. Is there anything like that before the draft? We have to, you know, be well prepared or in a good mind state, mind state uh, for the, the the big night. Um, I don't think a whole lot. I think that you know it's a little different from when you're actually playing. You know, you're, you're out there competing. You're out there, um, you know, playing a game, and you have to you know prepare yourself for that. I think that at this point uh, of, of you know the, the process, the draft process, it's, it's out of my control. You know, I've, we've gone through the, the season, the, the the combine, and all the interviews and all that. So um, it's really out of my hands now. It's in the hands of, of the staff in Montreal and the staff of, of the NHL club. So um, it's not really something that can you can really you know prepare for a whole lot. So. Now that your season's over, do you um, do you watch the rankings? What's what's being written? What's being said about the draft and and, and you and all the other prospects? Do you watch it more? Uh, not really. No, I really don't. Don't pay too much attention to the rankings because that's that's all that's all they are, right? They're just rankings. They're not actual draft. That's not the actual final uh, draft position. That that you know that's not. We're not going to know that until you know, July seventh. So um, I don't really put too much thought to put too much care into that because obviously it's. Um, you know, there's a lot of you know really smart people doing you know uh, you know putting a lot of you know effort and, and hard work into those things. But I think personally for me, it's not really something that um, I'm too worried about right now. Are you still enjoying this, or, <laughs> or has it been a little bit too much, or uh, how's it been overall this experience from over the last couple of months? Maybe? I mean, I'm enjoying every second of it. I mean, I'm playing the game I love. I'm going through uh, this experience that I've dreamed for my whole life. It's something that I've worked for and, 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 and dreamed of since I was a kid. So um, I don't think there's, there's anything not to love about this process going through it. Obviously, it's, sometimes it could be a grind. It can be you know, a bit, bit strenuous, but um, there's no place I'd rather be, no, rather, no other position that I'd rather be in than, than where I am right now. Shane, they were virtual, but does it help maybe the experience, Brandon, Brandt, some of the guys, some of your buddies, what they went through last year to sort of see what this is going to be like a year or later? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, being able to talk to those guys, talk to them about their experiences. Um, I was lucky enough to, to be in the room as, as Brandon was drafted by, by New York there. So um, I think just being able to 
um, you know, learn, learn from those experiences, learn from, um, you know, what, what it was like for them, their, their draft process. And um, it's been huge for me. And they're, they've always, you know, supported me as well. And they're always, you know, kind of helping me through the process as well. So, yeah, it's been great having those guys uh, beside me for sure. What has the city of Kingston and the community meant to you over the last few years? I, I love Kingston. I love everything about the city. I love the fans. I love the people there. Um, I love my billets. I love, uh, you know, the high school I went to. I think that uh, just super fortunate to, to be in a situation like Kingston, be super fortunate with, you know, being a Frontenac, you know, wearing that, that, that K on my jersey was, um, you know, such a huge honor. And um, I love everything about Kingston. It's definitely, you know, a city that's definitely, you know, pretty close to my heart for sure.